Hey, good morning. This is JDC. And this is JDC. And every morning we wake up and... Choose to win. What about you? Ha <laughs> ha. Today's hey. topic, we're going to be talking about the three... Things, things that you must avoid. Avoid. But today at all we're going to talk only about one. Yeah. Okay, there's three of them. This is going to be a three series video. Today we're going to talk Got about it. avoid being tired. Have you tired. ever been tired before? Yeah, I've been been tired, tired of tired, just tired, mentally tired, physically tired, just plain old tired. And emotionally tired, right? Yeah, emotionally tired, physically tired mentally tired mm -hmm. all of it yeah absolutely you know, most people experience mental tiredness uh, and the reason for that they don't know how to differentiate between being physically tired or mentally tired exactly right? and something some some example of being mentally tired is okay so we live in New Jersey right and it's cold it's 29 degrees today so we're in a heat wave okay so all that negativity of oh my god I can't stand the cold oh my god it's snowing again oh my god it's negative two that's meant that's gonna get you mentally tired your thought life you know yeah. what kind of thoughts are you putting in you absolutely that weigh you down you know you worry you you focus on the negative what are people saying about you uh, what is someone gonna think of you you keep putting yourself down you keep talking as if you're not good enough you keep doing things on such a low level energy that you get tired right and you have no energy to do the things that you need to do so you become so lethargic and don't know what to do. Just blah. So, so what's the difference between <laughs> being mentally tired and physically tired? How do you know the, the other one? How do you know? Well, the other one, your feet hurt, your back hurts, your body hurts, you're tired, you don't want to move, you know, like like working. Like say, say you're on your feet for 10 hours, 12 hours, 16 hours a day, depending on what your occupation is. You know, you're gonna be you're gonna be physically tired. You go for a really crazy workout that just like throws you to the next level in your in your life you're going to be physically tired until your body recoups so understand the two right. understand why you're mentally tired understand why you may be physically tired and then eat the right things right yeah uh so going back to your thought life what is the food that's coming into your mind what books are you reading mm. what are you getting inspired by what are your what are your goals? Are they energizing you, or are you getting depressed about them? And you something know? as simple as what are you watching on TV? Yes, get away from the news. <laughs> get away from the negative drama of TV. Yeah, you know that? for real. You know, there's so much to be excited about. You know, I slept probably four hours last night, and uh, I am super energized. I woke up early, really excited because you know why. I have reason to be excited. I have reason to be alive. I have reason to be doing the things I love to do. And so that energizes me and keeps me pumped up and ready to go to do my day. Absolutely. What is your goals? What are What is it that you aspire to? And what are you doing to get it? What are you doing to move forward? Now, those thoughts, those images in your mind, are going to fire you, you. They're going to energize, energize you. you. Absolutely. They're going to get you going. They're going to get you out of bed every day. Yes. That's what's going to do what, it. What friends do you have? Oh, man. You know, who are you hanging with? Oh. Are they pumping you up or are they draining you down? Which yeah, one is they, it? they getting you excited. They, yes. they encouraging you or are they going, oh, that's not going to work. Oh, look at oh, him. Man. Oh, look at her. Yeah, she thinks mm. this. You know, those, those people, you got to get rid of them because those are going to mentally drain you they're gonna emotionally drain every ounce of excitement that you have and they're gonna take it away they're gonna steal it and they're not gonna give it back so do what we do if you're negative and if you're the type of person that is cynical about everything and super analytical when you don't have to be we cut you out fast <laughs> we put you in a box in the corner nail it down and don't ever and then we label it garbage garbage you know, trash because I protect my thinking and we protect our lives have to and we protect everything that we do and where we want to go in life so when that moment comes decision time don't be scared to do it it's better on the other side I mean no 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 let me just clarify something like that okay so you're cutting people like that right it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to cut them out of your life period you could just put them in a filing cabinet away 
for for some times that you're just gonna connect and say no, hi. No, cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. I'm <laughs> telling you, cut them off. They're not worth your time. Cut them off now. If they change, if they really repent and come back and say, man, they're a new person, then test it out. Everybody deserves a second and a third and a yeah. fourth and a fifth chance. Yeah, sure. Right? Forgiveness. But you know what? If they don't do that, cut them off and don't think about it. Keep it oh, moving. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with that. Absolutely. All right, so listen. Next one, we're going to be talking about the next thing to avoid. There are three of them. Today we talked about avoid being mm, tired. tired. Avoid it at all cost. Until next time, this is JDC. And this is JDC. You have a great day. Choose to win.